hello boys and girls i really love spending the saturday with you um i learn a lot and i know that you learn a lot too so it's another saturday don't take for granted what you're learning you're learning a lot and you're growing you know few months years from now you'll be so grateful i know this because i know i remember when i used to listen to sunday school and you know now it's saturday <laughs> service but you know when we have sunday school i will i will just sit and you know engage and now i'm thankful for it i'm growing and i'm here now sharing god's word with you so as you know we'll get right into praise and worship and what that does is to open up your heart open up your spirit to receive you know the word that will come god is going to be listening to you as you worship him so dance before him not before anyone else just be conscious of god's presence with you and also the, after that um we'll listen to the bible story and i'll come and i will have fun right we'll talk about it and finally if you have a quiz you have a quiz and know you guys are so loaded you know a lot so please engage and we'll see you shortly okay bye bye lesson for the week please listen carefully stories of the bible cain and abel's offering this is adam hi and this is eve hi they were the first man and woman that god created adam and eve had two sons the first son was named cain and their second son was abel when cain and abel grew up Abel became a shepherd. Come on, sheep! While Cain became a farmer. Da, 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 da. When it was time for the harvest, Cain and Abel both brought gifts to God. Cain gathered some of the fruit of the ground and gave it to God. 
Here you go. God wasn't pleased with Cain and his gift, and this made Cain upset. <gasps> God asked, why are you so angry? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? God warned Cain about sin. God told Cain to be careful to not let sin control him, but instead to take control of sin. Wow. Abel also gave a gift to God. Here you go. Abel gave God the best part of his firstborn sheep from his flock. God was very pleased with Abel and his gift because he had given the best of what he had. All right. Welcome back. Hmm, Cain and Abel. I wanna be an Abel. I wanna be an Abel. I actually wanna be an Abel. I'm sure when you were reading that story, that was that's what was going through your mind. You know, God is no respecter of persons. The Bible says that means he does not have some favoritism where he says i don't like this person i like this person so that was not the case right so in this case god had a standard there's certain standards that must be met when you're dealing with god and that's why we have the bible to guide us through it and you know what abel was bang on he just got it right he offered the best i want you to keep that in mind today I mean, that's all you need to know. Don't worry about, oh, will I get it so right? Oh, maybe God's standards are so high. No, God is such a father. He won't give you a task that he knows you cannot accomplish. And so he has already given us what is called grace to be able to help us get through whatever it is that we need to do, right? To please him. So we cannot please God by our own strength. We please God by faith. And interestingly, in the book of Hebrews 11, it says, By faith, Abel offered an acceptable offering. Wow. So that means it wasn't Abel trying to use his own strength. You know, he just wanted to give God his best even when he had not seen God. You know, sometimes we try to impress people when they are right in front of us. And then when they're not there, we may do a shabby job. Like, you know, sometimes you guys clean up the house, make it so nice when mommy's around. But when mommy or daddy isn't around, you're just like, mm, can't be bothered <laughs> but no that's not what it should be like you should always put your best foot forward always give your best and the bible says abel gave his best he gave his best and today i think that's a major lesson we must take in whatever you're doing whether it's at school work whether it's with serving god whether it's with serving people because we are called you know to serve others as well because that's the pathway to greatness so in whatever thing that you are doing tell yourself i will give my best okay i want you to actually say that i will give my best say it again i will give my best say it again I will give my best thing to gain. I, ah, <laughs> uh, you know I'm having fun already. But you know that's a major lesson to take away. Give God your best; He deserves it. Give people your best too, whether they deserve it or not. That's not the point. You ought to give your best, and God will always be pleased with you. Okay, so I enjoyed that lesson, and I know that you take this home and you go practicing giving your best and getting the right results out of it. Amen. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. How are you doing? So you know what time it is? Yeah, it's quiz time here again. So let's get straight right into it. First question, who was Eve's first child? Who was Eve's first child? A, Seth, B, Abel, D, C, Cain, D, Enoch. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Eve's first child was Cain. Next question, who was Cain? What was Cain's profession? What was Cain's profession? A, a tailor, B, a shepherd, C, a hunter, D, a tailor. And if you answered D, then you are correct. Cain was 
Attila, also known as a farmer. Next question, what was Abel's profession? What was Abel's profession? A, he was a tailor. B, he was a hunter. C, he was a shepherd. D, he was a tiller. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Abel was a shepherd. Next question, what did Cain do? To, why did Cain become angry? Why did Cain become angry? A, because Abel was favored by his parents more than Cain was. B, because Cain wanted to marry Abel's wife. C, because the Lord accepted Abel's offering but not Cain's. D, Cain was jealous of Abel's success. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. He was angry because the Lord accepted Abel's offering, but not Cain's. Next question. What did the Lord tell Cain when Cain was angry? What did the Lord tell Cain when Cain was angry? A. The Lord t- told Cain. The Lord told Cain both of these things. A. That if Cain is righteous, the Lord will accept him. Or that if Cain is righteous, he will fall into sin. And if you answered A, then you are correct. What the Lord told him was that if he was righteous, the Lord will accept him. Next question, number six. After Cain murders Abel, what is the first thing the Lord asks Cain? After Cain murders Abel, what is the first thing the Lord asks asks Cain? A. What hast thou done? B. Where is Abel thy brother? C. Why didst thou so this do this thing why did thou do this thing d who killed thy brother and if you answered b then you are correct god asked him where is abel thy brother next question because cain murdered abel the lord cursed him to a life as a what a hermit b vagabond c leper d beggar and if you answered b then you are correct the lord cursed him to life as a vagabond next question what was cain's biggest worry concerning the lord's curse on him what was cain's biggest worry concerning the lord's curse on him a. That everyone will despise him. B. That everyone would laugh at him. C. That everyone would want to kill him. D. That everyone would avoid him. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. That everyone would want to kill him. Next question. The Lord declared that if Cain were to be killed, Cain's murderer would be sentenced to the same punishment, A, or that Cain would be avenged seven times over, or C, that Cain's murderer would be haunted as Cain was haunted, or D, that the entire family of Cain's murderer would be killed. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, that Cain would be avenged seven times over. Now the last question for today, why did the Lord set a mark on Cain? Why did the Lord set a mark on Cain? A. So that he would be humiliated. B. So that people would recognize him and not kill him. C. So that people would recognize him and kill him. D. So that people would know to persecute him. And if you answer B, then you are correct. The answer is B, so that people will recognize him and not kill him. 
And those are all the questions we have for today. Have a nice day. Bye.